talk about uh, complacency about the people, uh, gave a lot of reasons in terms of why people uh, don't come out or uh, get involved, and you say it's across the nation, which is very true. But I just want to add one thing to what was said, and that is fear. A lot of people fear even coming here tonight to speak on their issue, believe it or not. And when you do not control the economic power in your own community, it creates problems. When you cannot uh, speak out on your job for fear of losing that job, uh, that creates some problems with people. Uh, I don't know the situation I will mention tonight because it may spark some other conversation. But when people feel that they cannot step up to the plate to give their grievances without being retaliated against, then they will not come to leaders such as this. I guarantee you, I got a few within the last few weeks, 12 people have issues in their workplace. But they can't come here tonight or they won't come here. And I guess to go back, there's a lot of fear, not only here, but it's across the nation. So short form of what I'm saying is that when we say people are, don't care, they're complacent, uh, whatever it may be, uh, we got to, don't leave out the fear. A lot of people are afraid in this, not only here, but in this country, from those who empower and the ones who talk about power. Thank you. Yeah, but, um, a couple of things um, <coughs> that, that we are um, getting ready to consider on our, um, at our meeting Thursday, um, just to let people know how much we care about our community in that city. Um, we have a moratorium we get ready to put out, um, limiting the amount of lip stores in that that's in our city. Um, moratorium on rape shop because we don't know the long term effects and stuff we're going to have. Those are all the things that we know. Some of the things, you know, we talk about, we like to say, people don't know, people think we don't care. A lot of stuff that we talk about that we don't get a chance to talk about until it actually happens in our community. Councilman, Councilman Tuesday may go up there, Councilmember Vickers, or Bean or Scott may go and talk to someone about it, but we can't speak on it until it's actually take, get ready to take effect. But some of these things that we can we have control over in our city that our citizens can speak out. We just want everyone to, now we, we know everyone's not done here, but the more people we get involved in these decision making, not, not saying you're going to agree with us, because everybody's not going to agree with you, but like I said, it's our job to do the best job for the city that we can do. So a lot of the rules and stuff that you hear, I would rather for one person who's informed and has a lot of contact with the community, I would rather for them to call and ask someone who knows the question than to go over and co-sign with something on Facebook or, or go along with something that someone else says because you're friends. When you can simply pick up the phone, call, call some engagement, because all of our numbers up is it, 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 over to the public. So I would rather for you guys to do that. Now I'm not saying you guys, I'm saying people. If you if you have a thousand Facebook friends, I would rather for you to say, hold on, let's go Keep the lights up. <laughs> share this post to say, let me call Councilman Howard. Let me call Councilman McGee. Let me call someone that knows the truth. Because once you like it, more than likely than a thousand people are going to say Because they depend on you for your research. They're going to say, Kevin knows it. So, the city must be about to shut down something. And we don't have the power to, we don't have the power to do a lot of things that people think we have the power to do. We don't, we, we can't do it.